What's up, everybody? It's a Blue Drake, and today I wanted to show you a little underappreciated game that came out recently that I've been playing that has quite unexpectedly uh, been blowing my mind. Um, there are not very many games that I've played that are this epic. I wasn't expecting it out of this game at all, and I figured I might as well make a video about it because, oh my god, is it not cool as hell. Um, so, we're going to be going ahead and taking off and getting to the, into the fray. As far as I am aware, there is another enemy armada that is attacking our fleet of carriers. I have an interceptor on the landing deck, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get off the bridge and go get into the fray. I can't, I can't believe how epic this game is. I did not see this coming at all. All right, let's see here. All right, we've got a destroyer and a variety of fighters that are attacking our armada. And we have to take out the fighters so the bombers can get to the destroyer. All right, let's do it. This is incredible. I mean, it's all, it's kind of like Star Citizen, but just on a massive scale. All right, here we go. Disengage flight assist, and we are off. All right, we've got about four carriers in our fleet. Probably about like 200 interceptors. So we're gonna form up and head in on the uh, enemy destroyer right ahead of us. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. This is, this is incredible. You want to see something cool? Look. You can still get up and walk around the ship even. Hell, if you want to, you can actually get out of it. Jesus. I don't know why I'm doing this. We're going to die. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. This is insane. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, hold up. Let's get back on board our ship. This is insane. Docking granted. Okay. Highway are in Discoverer Vanguard. Back into the fray. Oh my god, yes! Okay. Alright. I think you might regret that. Okay. Oh. Alright, let's try to go after the engines. Okay. Targeted. Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah, uh, anti-fighter turrets are prepared to be. Oh, there it goes. Oh man, this is incredible. This is the best version of this game I have ever played in my life. All right, let's try to focus on a few fighters. They're coming through the warp gate now. Time to die. Ken, 
Got one. All right, here we go. All right. Need seeker. Oh, come on. This is like, I, I, this is like my, my, my dream game ever since I played Freelancer. Oh, man. All right, let's turn off flight assist. Check the tech map. Are we clear? we are oh man that is just that was just so cool okay I'm sure they're gonna attack again let's head back to uh, one of the carriers and well there they are behemoth vanguard all right they're all moving out they're in travel mode let's go ahead and Stop. Docking granted. All right. This is, uh, Successfully docked. this is really cool. Discover our Vanguard. Oh, man. This is really cool. Uh, look at this. Watch. Oh, dude. thing about this game is the fact that you can land on basically anything. Um, I, I haven't found a single fighter or a frigate that I haven't been able to request to dock with um, and then hitch a ride on through, <laughs> through space. It's incredible. And I'm not sure how many of you actually know the previous games from this series. Um, X, X2, X3, um, and obviously this is the fourth major entry to the series, and there were a couple others here and there. Um, the previous version of this game uh, allowed you to walk on stations, and you only had a single ship. Uh, you had one ship that you could walk around inside, but that's not really what I like in a space game. The whole point of space game and the whole point of a game like uh, X is the fact that you can go anywhere, do anything, buy any ship. And this is the first time that I've seen them accomplish this um, with interiors and uh, landable carriers and cruisers for all the fighters, all of the, the battleships, everything, to have full interiors for every single ship uh, and every single station and every single carrier in the game. And it blows my mind. I never thought that the X series would actually do this. There are games like Star Citizen, there's even games like No Man's Sky that are in many ways different games. It's not really the X series. The X series is all about a, being a massive game, having massive economies, um, and also it's entirely moddable. So there's Star Wars mods for these games, there's Battlestar Galactica mods for these games, um, and even though people are going to inevitably make the comparisons to something like Star Citizen, Star Citizen is still a, a pretty different experience. Uh, the X games are unfortunately exclusively 
uh, single player. So this is a single player game, but in exchange for the fact that it be that it is single player, you get a massive world with a living economy and on top of that there's mod support um and there's a lot of things that you can't do in a multiplayer game uh like star citizen that doesn't have that kind of mod support um unless it ends up having mod support which would be absolutely amazing um but this is this is really exciting for me this is really cool but i just kind of want to show you exactly what i'm talking about and and how like how amazing this is like let's just pick a random ship in the world this is a we're, 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 this is a like a construction frigate or cruiser or something like that let's just let's just pick a random ship here um i still love the fact that you can just get up to like you can just be like yeah i just want to chill let's just take a look oh this is so cool Oh, this is amazing! I really hope a multiplayer game like this comes out with dedicated servers, um, and, and not like a cloud-hosted game. That would be incredible. Um, but I'll take this in the meantime. This is really great. Uh, but let's, let's find a, let's find a random ship, shall we? That's too obvious, that's too obvious. What's this? Hermes, Vanguard. Alright, cool. Hello, Mr. Vanguard. Let's go check you out. 21 kilometers away. I'm gonna change our travel drive. Turn that off. Whoa! Almost hit him. <laughs> Let's go ahead and request docking. Whoa! Unless I get myself killed here. Highway. Vanguard. So it looks like this guy doesn't have a landing pad, which is kind of a shame. But let's uh, let's try something else. This is where it gets crazy. Discoverer Vanguard. <laughs> this is where it gets crazy. All right. Oh yeah, here we go. Alright, so we're gonna stop here for a second. Disengage. Docking Oh yes! <laughs> I can't believe this! This is so cool! Oh, it does have a docking bay. It just doesn't have a docking bay that's like the size that it needs to be. Oh man! Oh, that is so cool! Oh my god! All right, so we just uh, so now we can we can come on here and we can talk to the captain. Hello, captain. How are you? Let's just talk to. The, oh, sorry, sorry. Hello. Hey, where can I find? Uh, I actually, do you have a faction Send representative? Me information now. Ah, thank you very much. This is so cool! Like, I never would have... Uh, this is what I've always wanted from an X-Series game. This is what I... This, is, this just takes it to that level for me. This is so cool! <laughs> oh my god! Okay, so we're gonna head... Oh, look, see, and I just came out of the compartment. This is incredible! This is what I've always wanted the series to be. Where's my ship? There it is. Okay. And request docking with my own discoverer. This is so amazing. All right, let's get inside this thing. Ah. And there we go, and we're docked. That is, this is, this is what this game should have always been. Like, you can go to any ship, and even if you can't dock with it with your ship, you can still get out of your spacesuit. You can go onto ships that you've captured or damaged. It's so cool. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, let's, let's take a look at this one. I, I don't know, even know what this ship is. 
Hello. I would like to talk with you. Alright, let's engage. So, alright. Hi, I would like to dock. Perfect, thank you. How do you guys do your docking procedure? This is so, this is what it's all about. This is, thank you, whoever made this game. Whoever made this decision to take this leap and do this. Thank you. This is, as an X series fan, this is what the series needed. And I'm sure there's going to be a couple bugs here and there with this game, but it's incredible. Hold on, let's engage. Flight assist. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Woo! Flight assist almost got me killed. All right, let's see here. All right, and we are... No, no, come on. There we go. Oh, this is hard. It's kind of... It's a little bit... It's slightly harder to dock to something that's actually moving. All right, here we go. Coming in. And we're good. There we go. This is so cool. This takes the exploration factor to a whole new level. It really does. And when I first bought this game, I was like, okay, new X game. I'm going to buy it just because I'm a fan. Um, I wasn't I wasn't really sure what I was expecting. I've been kind of disappointed with the past two. And I got in and I was like, I remember there being ship interiors. I was like, I'll try it out. I'm sure there's only a couple ship interiors, but it'll be kind of cool. And I landed on a station. And I got out, and I walked around the station. I was like, all right, well, that's pretty cool. And then I walked around inside my fighter. And I was like, oh, wow, they have fighter interiors now, too. And I was like, I wonder how many interiors they have. And I just started going around. I was like, all right, well, I'm going to dock with this. And I was like, this has interiors. And then I went to another one. And I was like, this has interiors. And they're all, like, pretty different and pretty cool. And, oh, my God. I just, oh. I, I didn't. This is, like. This is like a Christmas present. You have no idea. All right, let's go to the bridge. And some of the uh, some of the interiors are the same. Like for instance, this one. Uh, it's it's the same design as some of the other ships, but all of the the ships, based off of where they're manufactured, um, have similar interiors, which makes it kind of believable. But at the same time, even if they are just reusing some interiors for different ships, I don't really care. Like, this is, like, the the fact that it exists at all is better than it not existing at all. Even if there are a few reused interiors. The fact that you can go everywhere and you can explore the different ships and you can see the different designs based off of the factions or based off of the races. Ah, oh, man. Look at this. This is so cool. This is what the X series has always been about. I'm so happy that they did this. This is really fun for me. All right, I think I went to the wrong dock area. I have to go to the other one. And when you when you dock with a ship and then there's like a battle raging above you, it's the coolest thing I've ever seen. This is amazing. This really is an achievement. Whoa, hello. Oh, I think that's a construction. Look at the see this is <laughs> It's like a movie or something. Oh, man. Man. Well, anyways, this is really cool. I wanted to show you guys. I have not I have not seen many games like this, and I definitely have haven't seen one with the scale and the charm of the X series and the X series definitely has a few problems with bugs um, and it's always been a little bit like the learning curve has been a little bit high um, because there is this giant massive economy that's flowing that's kind of hard to understand but I have to say X4 is the best version of all of the X games in my opinion I don't know if there's something else inside of this that perhaps the X community is complaining about. I'm not entirely sure, but the the UI is considerably better. It's way easier to navigate. The controls are way more streamlined. Uh, everything is way better. Like the game is still complex, but it's not obnoxiously complex, and it doesn't require you to understand the complexities to have fun anymore. Like there's depth now, but it's not a kind of depth 
that's obnoxious. Like, you can see, in order to dock with these ships, in order to talk with these people, it's pretty intuitive. It's pretty easy. Obviously, the more advanced aspects of the game, like um, probably setting up a station and creating a trading empire, is somewhat complicated, but that's supposed to be complicated, so I'm okay with that. Um, but this is just really cool. Um, in the few hours I've been playing this game, I've gone through, I've done a variety of missions, I've met some people on stations, I hired a couple of crew members, I got involved in this like massive galactic war, I've been exploring the, uh, the trade highways and the different environments. Um, so like for instance here's one of the trade highways that you can get a part of and you can just take this and just kind of explore different areas. I've been uh, looking into the lore. I've been looking into, because obviously I already knew the lore about the Tyranids and the Paranid um, and, and all of the different factions in the game, um, but seeing all of the different ones and how they are interacting and seeing which ones are controlling which which parts of space and then going to the front lines where some of the battles are occurring uh, which is where we just were at the beginning of this video and then engaging with that and then when I actually fought those forces and took down a couple of fighters I earned reputation with that faction they actually paid me I took that money to a shipyard I upgraded my ship I walked around the shipyard oh man this is great this is really great this is really great. Um, I really do hope, because right now the game has mixed reviews on Steam, um, and I almost guarantee you that is probably because of some of the bugs and some of the, the performance issues possibly, even though the game is running really, really well. Um, but the X series is notorious for having kind of like bugs and whatnot. It, it's, it's almost, the X series almost reminds me of like the Arma of space simulators. That's that's if you're if you're kind of wondering what the experience of an X series game is like, it's kind of like Arma, where it's a little bit clunky, but at the same time it's still so much fun that you kind of look past it. But even with that said, this is the least clunky, the most accessible and the most fun version of X I have ever played. This is amazing. Great job. Uh, whoever whoever makes this EgoSoft, you guys really you guys really hit a home run with this one. This is great. As an X series fan, I love this. I love this so much. Excellent work. I know you guys are tired of hearing it, but I would love to see a multiplayer version of this game. <laughs> and I know that's probably never gonna happen, but hey, Don't Starve said it was never gonna happen too. They never said there was gonna be a multiplayer version of their game. Look what happened to that. Um, there's a lot of games similar to this. There's Elite Dangerous. There's Star Citizen. Um, there is No Man's Sky uh, and probably a few others. Um, but they're not all like this. This game is still different. And it's different enough where I actually really enjoy it. I actually think if there was a multiplayer version of this, I would probably enjoy it more than Star Citizen. And I don't want to say that to anger any Star Citizen fans, because that's just totally my personal opinion. Um, because this is a complete game. Like, it's not built in modules, um, and it has mod support, which is really great. Um, it's not kind of still in early access. Granted, it doesn't have landable planets. Star Citizen has definitely g got one over them on that. Um, but the gameplay is really solid, and it's just a complete package. Um, and I feel like nowadays we're kind of running out of games that are a complete package. Uh, and, and that that really is nice. Like, the fact that I can come on here and I can, like, buy a mega cruiser or a tiny fighter and I don't have to worry about, like, microtransactions or anything or, like, the progression of the game ending up being kind of like a pay-to-win kind of thing um, or even not and, and having other monetization schemes or having it only be an online game uh, or have it be a game that's really fun but you can't modify the experience at all. Like the fact that the X-Series games are completely modifiable and if you don't like something about it, you can go through and change it. Uh, unlike No Man's Sky, which doesn't have mod support. Um, unlike Elite Dangerous, which is kind of cool but also doesn't have mod support um, and you don't really have control over your experience. And it also, I haven't played Elite Dangerous in a while, but I'm not sure if it has all of the interiors like this. Uh, it could. I know that was on their roadmap. I don't know if they've actually accomplished that yet, but this almost feels like it's taken inspiration from all the best parts of a lot of different games and then packaged it together with that, like, X 
formula that I love so much, which is basically like the trading, the large scale engagements, the living, breathing, flowing economy that is completely unscripted um, and that you can affect, like you can blow up stations and um, affect uh, affect trade routes um, and you can affect like factions. The only other game that I actually think is probably as good as the X series in terms of the economy and all of that stuff is Star Sector. I really do love Star Sector and I feel like if the X series could take more inspiration from Star Sector in terms of its meta gameplay, that it would be even better. Because I think the X series from a functionality and a mechanic standpoint has all of that. It has all of that depth, but it's kind of hard for people to interpret that sometimes. It's hard for people to understand it because the accessibility isn't really there. But with a game like Star Sector, the accessibility is absolutely there. It's all about gameplay. It's all about good UI design. It's all about accessibility, but it still has a lot of really great depth. And if you could take that and combine it with this formula, oh, and then make it multiplayer, make it multiplayer, oh my god, please, that would be great. But this is great. This is an achievement. This is so cool. Let's go ahead and land on this station. Why not? Silicon refinery. Docking granted. Alright, let's figure out where the docking... I've got you now. I know, it was... I was here earlier. Even the sound design is really cool. When you fly past... When you fly past different stations, in fact, actually, let's let's go ahead and follow in one of these ships. Ah, here it is. Ah, oh, see, that's perfect. Oh, man. Like, the sense of scale is so great. And being able to get out of your ship and walk around really just hits that home. It makes you realize how small you are and how huge this is. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. And look at all the all of these different landing platforms. Ooh, that's close. All of these different ships taking off and landing. So amazing. All right. Really cool. Welcome. Welcome. I Welcome. really love this. This is really great. And then we can go through here, and we can talk Hello. to different people. We can hire them, we can ask them questions, some of them give you quests. Goodbye. The interactions are pretty simple, but the fact that the game is so massive kind of makes up for it. Obviously this is no Skyrim or Oblivion or Fallout, but at the same time, there's just enough here to make it actually fun and not have it feel empty and weird and awkward. Uh, and combined with the fact that all of these ships you can land on and then you can build and create empires that you can take your fleets and attack other massive factions. <laughs> See, little things like that. This this is a very X-Series game kind of issue. <laughs> weird animation issues and stuff like that. And I guarantee you that's some of the things that people are getting frustrated with, but... Oh man, if that's all you have left to fix. The spirit of this is really good. The spirit of this is really, really great. And I can't wait to see the mods that come out that uh, expand the interiors even further. Because apparently the mod support for this game allows basically infinite interiors. So you can have interiors that just go on and on and on and on because they're loaded as cells. So for instance, the way it works is you come in here and you access this terminal and then you can go to different uh, you can go to different rooms and those rooms have different people in it. It's actually pretty genius the way that they've set it up. It's really great. Um, but you could easily have way more rooms. You could have so many different rooms. You could have infinite numbers of rooms of all sorts of different sizes and scales and it would all work. It's actually kind of similar to Skyrim uh, where you have the little cells and then you actually have the ability to look out to other cells through windows and stuff. Oh man. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Hello. You're probably not going to tell me anything. Oh, sorry for being on your desk. You're probably not. Are you going to tell me anything? Yeah, alright. You're just going to tell me some random stuff.
Uh, I actually need to get to an equipment Sorry, dock. I don't know. Well, you're useless, Hello. aren't you? So, I do think it would be cool if they expanded like the quest aspect. Like, it it really should. If you walk into this room, you should be able to talk to somebody and then have some kind of dynamic conversation where they give you some kind of small task or quest or anything. Um, I can't imagine any harm in that, but yeah. Hello, sir. Uh, let's go to the luxury dock area. Which I guess is where I'm parked. So yeah. Alright. I just wanted to show you this. This is really cool. I love this a lot. This is everything I look for in a game. You guys know how much I love vehicle interiors, and I really think it brings that level of immersion that you just can't get any other way. And these guys have really bit down on the bullet and did it and oh my gosh if it was not worth it it's oh, it's so awesome now I've never played an X game like this this is what I've always wanted it to be the fact that you can just take off and like go to any of these stations and ships the fact that you can get out of your ship into a spacesuit and then go to another ship adjacent to you Oh, man. And it's actually built pretty responsibly. Like, they haven't done anything crazy. Like, there's no weird, um, expansive, uh, expansive interiors that really destroy your performance. Like, the fact that they've done this cell-based interior system, I actually think is pretty great. Um, I think some people might be like, oh, yeah, but it's not, like, it doesn't have interiors that go on in unconnected ways for eternity, but I don't really care about that. Like, I would rather have interiors and have good performance than to have, like, interiors that are, like, unbroken and that go on forever. And as you could see with that spaceport, like, your interiors can still get pretty big even with the cell structure being the way that it is. Oh, my God. It's so cool. Here, just to wrap up this video, let's go land Mama, one, one more place. Vanguard. Here's a Vanguard freighter. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna request a dock at this ship. So cool. So cool. This just changes everything. It, f it makes all of these ships feel so much more alive versus in the previous ones where I mean they were there and they were cool looking but you couldn't really do anything with them. But now like, this is even cooler because, here, for instance, one of the cool things that you can do is you can, uh, see, like, this ship is moving faster than me, but if I can dock to it, I can literally just, I, I can, um, ah, uh, see, he's going way faster than we are. If I can actually catch up to this guy and dock with him, I can hitch a ride on his ship and just sit there while I do all of my management of my, uh, other ships. Come on. There we go. That's what I needed. Come here. I'm going to dock to you. Oh, come on. We gotta be able to do this. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's wait till we get in range. Unfortunately, missed it. All right, look, ship. I want to get inside you. I've actually not done boarding actions yet. But if the boarding actions actually still use interiors of the ship, that would blow my mind. If they don't, I don't think I'd be mad at this point. But if they do, if they do. All right, there we go. Now we're inside of its gravity field, so we should be able to stay with it, even if it keeps moving. There we go, locked down, and we're it hard to match the speed exactly. Yeah. 
There we go. Got it. Whew! That was close. But this is so... <sighs> this is so great. This makes all the little Vanguard trader ships and everything just seem so much... Like, look at those giant engines. I've never been able to experience the X-Series this way, and now I finally can, and it's everything that I hoped that it would be. It's so great. Hello. Can I actually Hello. hire people? Okay, yeah. You're Goodbye. I was gonna I was gonna say, if I could actually hire people on these ships, that would be kind of interesting. Dock to a ship and then just poach him. And let's go to the bridge. Now since this is a Vanguard, it's probably gonna have the same style of bridge. Yeah, it's the same type of bridge from that uh faction. But yeah. So this is amazing. It's really cool. I wanted to show you guys that this is exactly the kind of game that I love to play. I think this is a great game that kind of shows what is possible in video games. And I think the coolest thing about the era of gaming that we're in now is it doesn't... A game, in order to be good, doesn't need to have better graphics. It doesn't need to do something that was technically impossible before. It doesn't need to look prettier. In fact, in some cases, it needs to look less pretty so our computers, so more computers can run it. Um, but gameplay mechanics like this, this is what's changing everything. And I think that since we're peaking out somewhat in the game development world, like where there's not as much of a reason to invest money into making a game prettier or making a game sexier, now people are spending more time and, and more budget on game design and implementing the features that the communities have always wanted um, because now they've freed up enough of their budget to focus on those things since having prettier games isn't the big allure anymore. And this is kind of an example of that. Like, I don't care if... It, like, this... And it still looks so good. It still looks... It's just so cool. Like, just looking at a fighter... Like, look at this. Look at this screenshot. Like, just looking at a fighter. And you can see the planet in the distance. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, yeah, but the X Games don't have landable planets. But the cool thing is that we know the technology exists now in order to implement landable planets. Um, and I have a feeling that there is going to be a game similar to this that actually implements that as well. Ah, <sighs> so cool. And I'm really happy that, that video game studios are focusing more on gameplay now than just making games prettier, making games bigger. This is so cool. Dude, I could sit here for hours, man. I could just sit on this thing, just looking at the map, scanning different areas, accepting different missions. Let's see, what's, what, what's this mission? I can't do that mission because it looks way too expensive to complete. But, man, this is awesome. Okay, all right, that's it for me today, guys. Um, if you enjoyed this, by the way, um, make sure that you go and check out our website for some of the projects that we're working on as well. Um, there are some games that we obviously make that take inspiration from other games like this that I see doing really, really cool things, and it's really inspiring to see studios really kind of pushing the bar in terms of like gameplay it's really inspiring i might actually start playing this game regularly i'm not entirely sure i'm sure unfortunately i think this is the kind of game that my fans aren't going to be particularly into um and especially since it's single player that's probably not like if this game was multiplayer it would get infinitely more views just because there's that kind of like community interaction um but just from like a thesis standpoint like I just wanted to make a video that's like, hey, look, this is the kind of game that I love. <laughs> uh, this is it. Like, this is amazing. This is so cool. Okay, all right, that's it. I'm wrapping up. Let me know if you guys enjoy this. Uh, we'll see how well this video does. Um, and then if you guys think this is awesome, I would love, because there's so much you can do in this game. Like, we could take this fighter. We could get, like, a wingman eventually. And then we could go do, like, squadron missions and then get money from that and then upgrade and get a carrier. And then eventually we could have a whole carrier and we could fly around in our carrier and then have fighters on that carrier and then accept, like, missions for different factions and then engage in stations. Oh, mm, mm. So cool. All right, that's it. All right. 
Peace, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Blows my mind. Hopefully it blows your mind a little bit too. And I'll see you next time.